Scientists in the United States have published their latest findings about the state of the world's landscape and the impact of human development on our planet. What they found is quite alarming. They found this. The study says that 95% of the Earth's land surface has had some human modification, while 84% is experiencing multiple human impacts. Only 30% of large areas of land or eco-regions have a low degree of land modification, and only 18% of the world's countries retain most of their natural lands. Meanwhile, 57% of land on Earth can be classified as critically endangered. We're joined by the author of that report, Christina Kennedy, who's in Fort Collins, Colorado. She's a senior scientist at the Na Nature Conservancy. Thanks very much uh, for speaking to us. So you, you just heard me go through the numbers, so to speak, and the statistics that you've uh, put out in this report. Uh, in your words, though, how would you describe uh, the state of the world's landscapes? Well, I like you said, I think, um, you know, what it reveals is that we have a larger percentage of the globe is is modified to some extent by humans, but there is a gradient and there is a large portion of areas that are still relatively intact. Um, and these areas have been identified globally by conservation organizations as priorities to be able to protect for both nature and people before they become developed uh, rapidly within the future. But the key finding is that the vast majority of the world is really in between those states of wild and urban. And these are areas that have critical amounts of natural lands that are left. And we need to get in those areas to be able to manage development before we end up uh, further uh, damaging ecosystems in a way that would both cause species losses as well as a lot of losses for the services that nature provides to people. Yeah, so you also say that so the I degree of human modification reported this time is in fact higher than other times. So what is the danger if modification by humans continues at this rate? I think the, the danger is that we're going to continue to see uh, global declines of biodiversity, of species. We're going to see uh, more uh, catastrophic issues regarding uh, climate change, um, which is exacerbated by uh, development. We're going to lose a lot of the services that nature provides to people, whether it's carbon sequestration or clean water or flood mitigation or pollin pollination services for our global food supply. All right. Christina Kennedy, we thank you very much for speaking to us from Colorado.